So suppose I want to know how many pages are in the index for a certain search engine X. Now, of course, the search engine uh, probably doesn't tell me how large its index is. All search engines will overestimate their index size. They will try to make it sound as, uh, as big as possible. And in the end of the course, we'll see why that is important. Uh, index size has a tremendous effect on the accuracy or, and on the effectiveness of a search engine. So, uh, so the search engine won't tell me, but can I guess what its index size is? So I don't have access to the index, but as any search engine, X allows me to run queries against it. And I'm assuming that X will report accurate counts of how many documents matched a given query. So suppose I have, um, so uh, I'm going to play the following game. I'm going to take two words, A and B, and I'm going to assume that these words are known to occur independently. So what I'm going to do, uh, so what this means is <coughs> they, um, they're not correlated. Uh, if they occur together, they occur together by pure chance, and not because one word is correlated with the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run three queries. I'm going to run query A, query B, and query A, B together. And I'm going to record the number of results that search engine X gives me. So these are going to be N of A, N of B, and N of A, B for the number of matches for query A, B, and A, B together. Now, I know that A and B are independent. So anytime they occur together, is by pure chance. And what do I know about independent variables? The probability of A and B occurring together, if A and B are independent, is the same thing as the product of their marginal probabilities. Right? So that's what I have uh, in the center of the formula below. Probability of A and B together is probability of A times the probability of B. That's, that comes just from the independence assumption. Now, what is probability of A and B? I can compute it numerically using the, the observations that I have. That's the number of results for the query A, B divided by the total number of pages. Right? N of A, B is the number of pages that contained both A and B. That's what the search engine tells me. And N is the total number of pages. That's the index size. And N of A, B over N, that's the probability of A and B occurring together. Right. So it's all kosher on the left side. What do I have on the right side? On the right side, I have probability of A times the probability of B. Probability of A is the number of pages that contain A, that's N of A, divided by the total index size, N. Probability of B is the number of pages that contain B divided by the total number of pages, N. So what I have is n of a b divided by n is the same thing as n of a times n of b divided by n squared, assuming the words are independent, and that's how I have picked them. Right? So from that, I can compute n. And n turns out to be number of pages that contain the word a times number of pages that contain the word b divided by the number of pages that contain both words. <coughs> Now, uh, this is an estimate, and if the page, if the words A and B were truly independent in the index of engine X, this, would, this formula would give the right uh, answer, uh, the exact answer. Now, of course, I don't know if A and B are truly independent under engine uh, in, the, in, in the set of documents that are indexed by X. They could be independent in my sample, uh, but they're not. Uh, they might not be independent in the overall sample that X has. So uh, the way I would um, the way I would take care of that is I would run the whole procedure multiple times with many different pairs A B, get many different estimates for N, and then average that out. Right? So the idea is some words will be slightly positively correlated, some words will be slightly negative correlated and overall I should get a clear picture of what the index size uh, is after I do the averaging. Uh, by the way, um, if you have a sample, if you have a sample of documents from, from the search engine, uh, you can use it to 
estimate the correlation between the words, and that can allow you to generate uh, better estimates for the index size. So that's what I have there. Um, if the words A and B are not exactly independent of each other, right? So then what I will have is the num uh, the probability of A and B together uh, is going to be probability of A times the probability of B times some constant C. Uh, C is the correlation. It's the amount of correlation between A and B. And if it's bigger than 1, this means that the terms are positively correlated. If you see 1, you expect to see other more than by pure chance. If C is less than 1, then they're negatively correlated. It means one word prevents the other one from occurring. So how can I estimate the correlation C? Well, I can estimate it from the sample. So suppose that S of AB <coughs> is the number of documents in my sample that contain both words A and B. S of A is just the number of pages that contain A. S of B is the number of sample pages that contain the word B. S is the total size of my sample. So in my sample, the following should hold. S of AB over S is C, the correlation coefficient, times S of A over S times S of B over S. From that, I can estimate C, the amount of correlation, and then I can stick that C into the formula for re-estimating the total index size. So now I'm going to run my queries, take n of a, n of b, divided by n of a and b together, multiply it by c, the amount of correlation, and that will tell me the total, um, that will tell me the total uh, size of uh, the index of nginx. Uh, so uh, here's a syntactis. Uh, I actually did this uh, two years ago uh, with Bing. Uh, now, as a caveat, uh, this, uh, this procedure no longer works. Neither Google no, nor, nor Bing no longer give accurate counts of results. So if you try this today, unfortunately, it doesn't work. But if you have a search engine that is honest and tells you how many matches it actually has, then, uh, then you can use this procedure quite effectively. So let's look at what I did. Um, I took just a bunch of words, and these are by no means independent. These are just words off the top of my head. So uh, write and walk. In 2011, write had 2 billion matches on Bing, and walk had 678 million. And write and walk together occurred in 328 million pages. So if I plug that in, assuming no correlation at all, I get approximately 4.3 billion pages as the index size for Bing. So that's just one pair. Now let's repeat it many times. Green John, Big Weather, Black Hawaii, First Water, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> for Green John, uh, I get different numbers, and the overall estimate comes out at 7.1 billion. For Big Weather, 7.9 billion, Black Hawaii, 5.9, so on and so forth. So I get a bunch of estimates, 4.3, 7, 1, 7, 9, 5, 9, 4, 9, 5, 3, 4, 3, 4, 6, 5. Uh, these vary. They're quite, they're different from each other, but they're all surprisingly in the same ballpark. Right? So I'm getting numbers between uh, 4 and 8. Uh, Billion, and it's all it's all it's all in a fairly narrow range. So what can I guess from that? I can guess that in 2011, Bing index size was probably around six billion um, English pages.